everyone welcome to topic of the day in today's edition we are going to talk about draft indian antarctic bill now recently the draft indian antarctic bill 2020 was tabled in the lok sabha and that is 40 years after india first signed the antarctic treaty we will discuss about the antarctic treaty but let's talk about the draft indian antarctic bill of 2020 Well it is the first domestic legislation with regard to Antarctica in India it is applicable to indian citizens as well as foreign citizens its aim is to ensure fulfillment of obligations of india under the antarctic treaty and the madrid protocol it also aims to promote and protect antarctica let's discuss some of the major provisions of this bill first of all regulation of activities It talks about the permit system issued by the government committee for any expedition or individual who wishes to visit the continent. It involves Indian tour operators to be able to operate in Antarctica after acquiring a permit. This bill now provides for commercial fishing activity as per the international law. There are certain prohibitions like drilling, dredging, excavation or collection of mineral resources or even doing anything to identify where such mineral deposits occur only exception is for scientific research then we have damaging native plants flying or landing helicopters or operating vessels that could disturb birds and seals using firearms that could disturb the birds and animals and removal of soil is also prohibited further on introduction of animals birds plants or microscopic organisms that are not native to antarctica is also prohibited This bill also talks about certain penalties and setting up of a separate designated court to try crimes committed in Antarctica so the violators imprisonment as well as penalties now what is the antarctica treaty this treaty covers the area south of 60 degree south latitude its objective is to demilitarize antarctica and establish it as a zone used for peaceful research activities and to set aside any disputes regarding territorial sovereignty thereby ensuring international cooperation it was signed in 1959 by 12 countries including argentina australia belgium chile france japan new zealand norway south africa ussr the uk and the usa and it came into force in 1961 india signed the antarctic treaty in 1983 there was a convention on conservation of Antarctic marine living resources that was set up in 1980 for the protection and preservation of the Antarctic region and the Madrid protocol also designates Antarctica as natural reserve that is devoted to peace and science so if we talk about certain key facts about Antarctica it is the world's southernmost and the fifth largest continent the indian antarctic program 1981 has completed 41 scientific expeditions and built three permanent research base stations in antarctica first one is dakshin gangotri 1983 maitri 1988 and bharti that that was established in 2012 we also have himadri station in svalbard that is above the arctic circle the national center for polar and ocean research goa it is an autonomous institute under the ministry of earth sciences that manages the entire indian antarctic program The longest river is Onyx and Vostok is one of the largest subglacial lakes in the world. Now let us take up a practice question on this topic with reference to the draft Indian Antarctic Bill 2020. Consider the following statements. First, it is applicable to both Indian as well as foreign citizens. Second, the bill put a total ban on commercial fishing activity in the Antarctic region. Third, the bill fulfills obligations of India under the Madrid Protocol. Which of the given above statements are correct? You can write your answers in the comment section below. So the correct option is option C that is only the first and the third statements are correct. Well that's all for today's topic of the day for regular updates you can follow us on our social media handles and for more such videos do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel.